There is grandeur in this view of life with its several powers, having been originally breathed by the Creator. From so simple a beginning, endless forms most beautiful and most wonderful have been, and are being evolved. These were the words of Charles Darwin when he described species in his book Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection, published in the year 1859. Over a million species inhabit the world today. And all these different living species have evolved from a common ancestor. Do you know what a species is? A species is defined as a group of organisms that can interbreed to produce viable and fertile offspring. This means that members of two different species cannot normally interbreed to produce offspring. And if they do, they give birth to offspring that are not fertile. One such example of mating between two different species is that between a male donkey and a female horse to produce a mule. Mules are infertile hybrid offsprings and they do not belong to a separate species. Common names of plants and animals generally represent different species. For example, lion, tiger, camphor tree and banyan tree are names of different species. Population of a species has genetic variation. Sexual reproduction brings new genetic combinations in the offspring. The total number of genes with all their variants in all organisms of the same species is called the gene pool. A gene pool gives the species its identity. Different species of living organisms have different gene pools. Look at these images. Do you think all of these belong to the same species? All of these are birds with common characteristics such as feathers, beaks and wings. However, they do not interbreed and hence do not belong to the same species. The process by which new species are formed is called speciation. In this tree of evolution, can you identify which points correspond to speciation? All the branching points are the points of speciation. These are the points where a large group or a family of organisms diverge to form two or more species. These newly evolved species do not mate with members of other species to give birth to offspring. Suppose that a geographic location is cut off by physical barriers such as mountains, rivers or oceans. In that case, the part of the population living on the other side of the barrier gets isolated from the rest of the population. Over a period of time, the isolated population may undergo mutations and variations in order to adapt to its new environment. This leads to the formation of a new species that cannot breed with its parental population. Also, it is possible that within a population, some members develop different reproductive mechanisms or mating habits. For example, it is likely that a few members of a population become isolated, as they might, for example, develop differently shaped genitals, which do not fit with those of the members of their parental population. In this case, mating becomes impossible. In such case, a population shows reproductive isolation. This cuts gene flow and leads to formation of new species.
Did you know that organisms of different species exhibit different mating rituals, in which they use mating songs and dances to attract their partners? Another cause of speciation is natural selection. Natural selection is the process by which organisms with some adaptive advantage survive and reproduce in numbers, while those without this advantage tend to be eliminated. Consider a population of red beetles living in a bush. Some genetic mutation changes the color of one beetle to green. Gradually, the green population starts increasing. Suppose there are some birds in this area that feed on beetles. The green beetles have an adaptive advantage. They are camouflaged against the leaves and so are not often eaten by the birds. The red beetles, on the other hand, are continuously attacked and eaten by birds. Slowly, over a period of time, the number of green beetles in the habitat will increase, whereas the number of red beetles will decrease. Over the years, greater genetic changes will arise in the evolved green beetles, and they will not interbreed with the red ones. We can thus say that natural selection has led to evolution. Let's see how genetic drift leads to speciation. An accidental event can lead to selection and survival of particular members in a small population. This can lead to isolation of members and can further cause speciation. Speciation or evolution of new species can be classified into two types, allopatric speciation and sympatric speciation. Allopatric means belonging to a different homeland. In this type of speciation, geographic barriers or physical isolation beget genetic isolation. This leads to the formation of a new species. An example of allopatric speciation is the evolution of a new species of Western African elephants that differ greatly from the savanna elephants of Central Africa. Sympatric speciation, on the other hand, occurs within a population, with both species thriving in the same geographic region. The evolution of a new species of apple maggot flies is a classic example of sympatric speciation. Earlier, all flies fed on a fruit named hawthorn. Later, in the 19th century, when apples were introduced in North America, some flies started feeding on apples. And gradually, there evolved a new species called the apple maggot fly. Bye. <laughs>